The man hit by a train in Danville say he's doing okay tonight. This happened Saturday morning in an area of Danville where people cross the train tracks a lot. WDBJ 7's Justin Ward is live tonight near those tracks. Gene, the caution lights were flashing and the gates were down when the man was hit. And though there are warning signs in this area, people from a nearby neighborhood are asking for more safety. Early Saturday morning, a Norfolk Southern train grazed a man on his daily walk. He wasn't trespassing, and investigation reports show he wasn't seriously hurt. He turned down a trip to the hospital for treatment. Friends say he crosses the track several times a day, visiting friends, going to businesses, or just roaming. He's not alone. Dozens of people cross in a stretch along West Main Street in Danville every day. Here's the problem. There's a large neighborhood over there and a few shops over here, and it's all divided by this train track right in the middle. People over in the neighborhood tell me plenty of people cross the tracks every day, but not necessarily at the crossing. There are no fences here, but rather a few illegal crossing paths, like this one, near two crossings, but convenient to nearby stores. You just look, make sure there ain't no train coming, you know, and uh, be safe out there. Glenn Chilton crosses here every day. He says he was hit by a train a few years ago and tore up his shoulder. Though he still crosses the tracks, he's even more cautious now. That was a wake-up call for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm very careful. I'm, I'm careful about crossing the streets. I mean, cars will run over you now. To... Since 2012, there have been at least four people hit by trains in this area. Some neighbors who choose to walk across the tracks say it's time for a change, like a pedestrian bridge. They should make some sort of a ramp or something that uh, uh, the uh, patrons can cross over. I think so. Train tracks are considered private property. Crossing in an area other than a crosswalk or walking along the tracks is considered trespassing with a fine of up to $1,000. Live in Danville, Justin Ward, WDBJ7.